Tears streaked down her face as she cradled his belongings in her arms. She believed she was ready, familiar with the emotions that often engulfed the spouses of soldiers. Nevertheless, an unforeseen twist unfolded when she unlocked his laptop with the intention of reliving the memories captured in their shared photos. To her astonishment, she encountered an enigmatic message that promised to ignite something profound. The day Emily wed her husband, Mark, was the pinnacle of her happiness. Envisaging a future brimming with joy and contentment beside her beloved spouse, she embraced an idyllic vision. However, Mark's profession swiftly cast shadows over these aspirations. As a lieutenant in the United States military, he epitomized patriotism and unwavering dedication to his nation. Mark's euphoria peaked when Emily bore their first child, Brittany. His affection for her surpassed all else. Yet, the specter of his imminent deployment darkened the horizon, necessitating his departure. Emily comprehended the harsh reality that accompanies loving a soldier, knowing he was poised to depart for Afghanistan, leaving her to shoulder the responsibility of their child alone. The chilling narratives of soldiers embarking on Afghan deployments further intensified her reluctance to bid him farewell. Although his deployment was initially slated for six months, the unfolding events would defy those expectations. She realized that the message was pointing to a set of coordinates. Her heart raced like an Olympic runner going for gold. During the first six months of his deployment, she used FaceTime to stay connected when possible. Her husband's imminent return was what kept her going. Yet, as she spent hours preparing the house for his arrival, the phone rang with alarming news. The caller ID displayed hubby. Assuming he was calling to share his arrival time, she answered with a grin. However, the news was far more sinister. His flight was delayed, and he abruptly hung up. Emily detected the panic in his voice and grew increasingly worried over the next few days. The worry deepened as time passed. Over a week later, a call from someone in the U.S. Army brought grim news. Her husband was missing in action, MIA. After two months of unsuccessful search efforts, his belongings were returned to his family. Emily accepted them with inconsolable tears. What had happened to him? Why couldn't they find him? He couldn't have simply vanished. Emily anxiously waited for news of his whereabouts, contacting every agency she could think of. Unbeknown stir, the answer lay right under her nose. After another month, she summoned the courage to go through Mark's belongings and open his laptop. Initially planning to browse through saved photos, she found a file addressed to her, and her blood ran cold. The letter was a love letter, but filled with errors and grammatical mistakes. Then it clicked. There was a pattern to this cryptic message. Emily hurried to find a pen and wrote down all the capital letters and misplaced numbers. Send help. She stared at the numbers in confusion. Could it be a phone number? She typed the numbers into Google, leading her to a set of coordinates. However, they were nowhere near Afghanistan. She reversed the numbers and searched again, her heart pounding. It was clear that he was in trouble, but why was he reaching out to her? What had he gotten himself into? The coordinates led to one of the last remaining schools in Kandahar. Fear surged through her. What was he doing there? Filled with fear, she had no idea who to turn to, but time was of the essence. She contacted his U.S. Army base. Upon receiving her message, the Army base immediately requested his file and assured her of an immediate investigation. Within a week, Emily received an update. The school was a cover-up designed to deceive American forces. In reality, it was a hidden prison. Their subsequent raid liberated 12 soldiers who had been detained there. But the question remained, why did Mark ask for help from his wife instead of his team? Shortly before Mark was scheduled to depart, he received an unexpected mission. Acutely aware of the risks and the unsettling reports of missing soldiers, he harbored a foreboding sense that something could go awry. Having discreetly surveyed the school on multiple occasions, he harbored suspicions that it concealed a covered prison. Fueled by his determination to ensure his message reached Emily, he made a daring gamble with his own life. He believed that if he were to disappear, his laptop might fall into the wrong hands. Conversely, if fate favored him, it would ultimately reach Emily. 
the sole individual capable of deciphering his cryptic communication and initiating contact with his U.S. base, armed with the essential technology to surveil the school. Once the school's facade was confirmed, the U.S. Army swiftly initiated a rescue mission. Mark was finally reunited with his adoring family, his wife and daughter. His narrative held a tale of extraordinary circumstances. Having endured three long months of captivity in the concealed prison, Emily's relentless determination ultimately led her to his whereabouts. The reunion brought immense joy to Mark, while Emily was overwhelmed with relief to have her husbands safely back home.